Have you ever noticed why a moving ball stops? Or why a bicycle stops when the cyclist stops pedaling? There must be some force that stop moving objects. When you hit a ball, it does not move forever. The ball gradually slows down and stops. The force that makes the ball slows down is called Hi, my name is Sir Jones, and welcome to my lesson video. Let's talk about Friction What is friction? Friction is a special kind of force that keeps objects in place or slows them down. It is a force that opposes the relative motion between two surfaces of objects in contact. The force of friction always acts in a direction opposite to that of the applied force. If you push or pull a box of books on the floor, the surfaces of the box and the floor slide against one another. The force that you exert on the box as you push or pull is opposed by friction. What if there is no friction? Without friction, it would be difficult to walk in a slippery road. Pull a box. And we cannot even hammer a nail on a wall. Try to push your notebook on the table. Do you feel the force opposing the motion of your notebook? What do you think causes friction between two surfaces that are in contact? As the notebook slides across the table, it slows down and stops moving. The initial force is what keeps the notebook moving. As the notebook slides across the table, a force of friction acts in the opposite direction. The friction slows down the motion of the notebook. The source of the friction is the contact between the surface of the notebook and the table. Friction does not only oppose motion, it can also produce heat. High friction will slow something down and create lot of heat. Low friction will keep things moving and reduce the creation of heat. Let's take a look on the another example. The friction will push out dusty particles of the fireboard which will ignite as the temperature increases. Rub your hands together for a few minutes. How do you feel? You will notice that your hands feel warm. That warmth is caused by a force called friction. Friction happens when you overcome the resistance of one object rubbing against the other. The force of the friction opposes the direction of the motion. If you just put your hands together, there's no resistance, so there is no friction produced. Rub them together and there is friction. The factors that affect friction is Number 1. Depend on the roughness of the surface in contact. Number 2. The extent to which the surface is pressed together. Number 3. The nature of the surface. The more tightly the surfaces are held together the more would be the force of friction. 
remember. The amount of friction depends on the materials from which the two surfaces are made. The rougher the surface, the greater friction is produced. The smoother the surface, the smaller the friction is produced. Let's have a quick test. Directions. Choose the letter of the best answer. 1. What is a force that works against motion? A. Energy. B. Friction. C. Gravity. D. Motion. The correct answer is B. Friction. 2. Which has the greatest friction? A. Polished floor. D. Wet floor. C. Tiled floor. B. Sandy floor. The answer is D. Sandy Floor. 3. Which surface creates more friction? I. Magnetic surface. B. Slippery surface. C. Rough surface. D. Shiny surface. It's C. Rough surface. 4. Which has the least amount of friction? A. The ice. B. Concrete. C. Carpet. D. Grass. And the answer is A. Ice. Another one. Directions. Choose the correct words in the box to complete the paragraph below. Friction is a that always against an object when it touches another. When things are in contact with each other, there will be acting between them. One, force. Two, pushes. Three, object. Four, two. Five, friction. And that's what we have for this video. Like and share. Click the subscribe button and the notification bell. Again. I'm Sir Jones. See you on my next video. Goodbye.